everyone, it's me Skin Glow and Afa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I wanted to do a video talking about the whole Meghan Markle, Prince Harry situation, you know, they're breaking free from the royal family and the royal family is losing their mind over it. And Piers Morgan is acting really butthurt lately. I don't know what's going on, but that man is acting like he has no sense. Like, what did Megan do to you to turn you into that obsessive man? Because, listen, there used to be a TV show called um, Stalked, Look Who's Watching or something along those lines. And seriously, if Piers Morgan wasn't the person that he is, he would be on that TV show. I am telling you from now. Now basically Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are doing an interview with Oprah Winfrey which is tonight but obviously it will be airing in the UK tomorrow but those of you in America can watch it tonight. You're lucky. You're very lucky. Alright? And Piers Morgan this whole week has been acting a hot mess. Like I don't know did like apparently um Meghan Markle didn't invite him to her wedding to Prince Harry that's why he's acting in such a way. And I'm just, because apparently he used to be a huge fan of the TV show Suits that Megan used to be in before, you know, she got married. Because when she got married, she had to give up her acting career. Um, But now, I don't know what she did. I mean, apart from, apart from the whole not inviting him to the wedding, like, how can you be this mad over someone not inviting you to their wedding? I'm going to insert the clip because literally the way he used to praise her and the way he talks about her now is mad. Intelligent, I thought very smart, very charming, very warm, very direct with eye contact. She was a really nice person and she seemed to me to have a sense about her of being concerned about issues, concerned about the planet, the environment, women's rights. She's got that campaigning streak too, but I really liked her, you know, I mean, I, you know, I'm just sad I lost her as a friend. It's like Harry, you know, you could have thought of me here, buddy. <laughs> You really? Um, You're quite bitter about this. Well, I'm not bitter, just sad. <laughs> yes. You know, mainly because I don't get the Suits episodes, and that really kills me. <laughs> uh, but also, I thought we, I just thought we were friends, Megan. What happened? <laughs> but I, I, I get it, because uh, Harry, the moment it became serious, there's no way Harry wants Meghan Markle anywhere near media people, just mm. period. It doesn't mean I haven't ruled out that I might get an invite to the wedding. So you haven't yet? No, but I just think Meghan will be sitting there thinking, you know what, I owe that guy one. I really owe that what guy What does she one. owe you? She owes me an invitation to the wedding to make up for cutting me dead. <laughs> like, you've just seen that video. You've just seen it. And you see what I'm talking about? How did he go to, to like, acting like she has butterflies and roses coming out of her backside to now acting like she's the worst person on planet Earth? And I keep telling people, like, a lot of this, a lot of the, what Meghan Markle is going through is to do with racism. It is to do with racism. Now, don't get me wrong, I know she's a biracial woman. However, the fact that she has black ancestry is enough for the British media to attack this woman like they have. Now, remember I told you before in my previous YouTube videos that Britain has a problem with admitting it's racism. They will deny it, but the way they keep targeting her is absolutely mad. Her being biracial, her being a woman, that's why they're targeting her like that. Now, you know, sexism and racism goes hand in hand. It's like this. And Piers, you really need to get a grip. I know she didn't invite you to the wedding, but get a freaking grip. All you're doing is just exposing your racist ass once again. How many times do we have to have this discussion, Piers? Yeah, because literally every single day this week, you have been you have been coming after this woman. Now, if it was anyone else on Twitter who was doing that, they would be removed for targeted harassment. But how is he allowed to get how is he allowed to get away with it just because he does that TV show Monday to Friday, Good Morning Britain? Like for God's sake, you need to get a freaking grip, yes. Okay? I know you feel like you've lost your best friend or or whatever, but li like you was just a fan. Okay, she didn't know you like that. You was just a fan. Get a fucking grip. 
You honestly need to get a grip. Like, sir, you are married. Do you not feel no shame within your spirit, the fact that you are married and you're more focused on another woman you barely even know compared to your wife who's laying up in bed next to you every single night listening to your fuckery? I mean, imagine being married to that man who is obsessed with another woman. Imagine. I just can't, I just can't comprehend it. I can't comprehend the foolishness. Like, honestly, I'm lost. I am lost. Like, Piers, Piers, you, we've known about your racism for years now. This is nothing new. But the extremes that you are going to right now, it's too much. It's freaking too much. You need to, you need to let it go. Let it go, bruh. Go, go and go somewhere, go somewhere like forest or something. Go and heal, like, go heal, like, surround, your, surround yourself with the deers and the birds, and maybe, maybe some, maybe some leopards. Maybe that will scare you straight, you know. Just, just go somewhere far away and heal, 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 heal. This is what you need to be doing. You need to be healing, let all of that, all of, let all of that negativity out of your spirit and heal your soul. Because the levels that you're going to, it's too much. It's too much. I know you find it too much. I know you find it too much. Like, say you are 55 years old. 55. And you are acting like a love-struck teenager. Like, I'm not... I'm really not... I don't understand. I don't understand. Like, you didn't get an invite to the wedding. Okay, why are you still mad? She got married, when was it, 2017? 2018 it's now 2021 why are you still vex over this situation why are you still vex over it it's not making any sense it's really not making any sense and the whole and another thing that i've noticed is that the media the other british media is saying that if prince philip who's currently sit, like i don't know what is wrong with the, the, this man i don't want to say too much am i on my youtube channel like i literally don't want to say too much on my youtube channel however there is something strange going on with prince philip like trust me it will come out eventually but there's something strange going on with that but they got so much energy to try and blame Meghan markle for like for prince philip being sick this man is 99 years old okay 99 of course he's sick of course he is sick he's 99 years old it's not exactly if he's like it's not exactly like he's in his early 30s, like, coming out. The man is 99 years old. He has lived a long life um, built off the back of colonialism, slavery, blah, 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 you know. Plus, you know, the royal family, they're always marrying, you know, marrying their own cousins and stuff. But let's not go there. But, um... How can they blame... How can they blame Meghan Markle for him being sick when this man is constantly sick like literally like you see when you see pictures of prince philip you're like how the hell is this man still alive like honestly i don't get me wrong but like how is this man still alive because he literally looks like a reanimated corpse like some out of creep show the first movie you know from night from the 1980s like he literally looks like that corpse you know when that that woman poured the poured the alcohol over her over her dad's grave and then the thing came up out of the grave. He literally looks like that. So I'm not understanding. Like apparently he's had some heart surgery and it was successful. And apparently the Queen tonight is a, and apparently the Queen is going to be doing some um statement or whatnot. At the same time as the interview, or like what half an hour or so before the interview is due to air in the UK. And I'm just like, why? Why? What is the reason? What is the reason? Like you're gonna like if the man if the man dies, are you gonna blame it on Megan? Like what what did she do? What did she do? Like the shock of her leaving is what caused the man's heart to give out. Like it's absolutely ridiculous. And plus, they was talking about some earrings that she was wearing, which was a gift from I don't remember where it was, but she was wearing some green earrings, and it was a gift, and it was getting up, and it was getting up in arms about it, and I'm just like. Okay, you mean the same UK that has been supplying certain countries with arms? That's the same UK that wants to attack Meghan Markle? Oh, that is so rich. That is so fucking rich. It really is. It, it's so rich. And not Piers Morgan attacking anybody when you wasn't... When a few years ago you was bosom buddies with 
the former president, President Trump, not you acting like someone is not able to break free from a situation like, come on now, let's be realistic. Let's be realistic here. It's not looking too good for you, sir. It's really not looking too good for you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Also, you all have way too much time on your hands. I know we're in a pandemic and that, but like you have way too much time on your hands to be worried about what that woman is doing. I don't get me wrong, like a biracial woman marrying in a biracial woman marrying into the royal family was not exactly going to was not exactly going to give it this shift that everybody thought it was. I mean, I don't know why some people were sitting there acting delusional as if um as if her being married would, you know, change things. Let's be clear what the royal family is based on colonialism, slavery, white supremacy. They don't work. Okay, they don't work. So expecting her to come in and change things, like what was what was people expecting? What was people expecting at the end of the day? Because Now, imagine if Meghan Markle had been a full black woman who was dark-skinned. I mean, if we think we're seeing racism now, imagine if she was a full black woman. We will be dealing with colorism. We will be dealing with texturism. We will be dealing with featureism. All those three things we will be dealing with. And... It's the fact that she is biracial and dealing with all this racism. And this is why I'm saying, imagine if she was a full black woman. Imagine a, they like they like on 100 now. If it was a full black woman, it would be 200. Like, I'm not even joking. It would be 200. Like the level that they go to to attack black women. I mean, just a few weeks ago. They was attacking Serena Williams because she lost and there was and there was um lost against uh Naomi Osaka, I believe her name is. And they was attacking her. And I'm like, why? Like they were literally attacking this woman and I'm like, and you see the dynamics that I'm going at? Like a few years ago when she lost when she lost another match and they painted this character of um of Serena and it was in I believe Australia and they painted this horrible little this horrible little character of Serena Williams and she her features were just like so overblown and she was like she was looking like she was jumping up and down and she she kind of had this kind of ape like appearance and I'm like you see this is what I'm talking about the racism that is thrown towards black women particularly dark-skinned black women is absolutely crazy and Australia was full of shit anyway okay that's what you got that's why you always got those big ass spiders and and bugs every fucking way and those those poisonous snakes all up and down all up and through that place because you're the fucking evil yeah, you're like, you're a fucking evil. I'm not even on the fucking front. You're like evil as shit. That's why you always got those fucking bugs all up and down your houses. All up and through, all up and through the, the trees and stuff. You always got those things going on there. Because until you admit your part in colonialism, they're going to keep staying there. Trust me. Trust me on that. Now, I want the exact same thing to happen in the UK. Not with me being here, of course. But, you know, like in the royal family. Like I want to see some, I want to see some, some of those bugs from Australia end up in those fucking houses, end up in those palaces. Cause y'all need, y'all need some serious karma. Y'all need some serious karma for what you have done to black people over the years. Because let's talk about it. They want to moan, they want to moan about, um, they want to moan about Meghan Markle wearing some green earrings that was a gift, but you but yet the queen is wearing stolen jewels. Yeah, that's right, Queen Elizabeth. You're going to give you're going to give India back that crown that you got on your head that you stole from the fucking country. Yes, you stole it. And let's talk about all the other jewels. The majority of your other jewels that you took from Africa. Let's talk about that as well, shall we? All that shit that you stole out of Africa, that you stole from India. But yet it's Meghan Mark you want to have a problem with. The fucking cheek for them to just... This is what this is what racist white people do. They just take, 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 take from 
that they're from their former colonies and we're just expect we're just expected to tolerate it constantly and not to see a biracial woman being lambasted across the media every freaking fucking day and it's tiring and it's tiresome and it's too freaking much and i'm just like you got so much mouth for her but you don't have so much but you don't have so much um action to take back what you stole and another person i believe his name is peter peter lloyd on twitter you are fucking cheeky let me explain why this man yeah he posted these four pictures on his twitter page of Meghan markle and prince harry and he says every picture screams co coercive control now i will put it up there so you can see it because i don't understand how this man can say that is coercive control just because she in one of the pictures she was holding his hand in another picture she had a she had her hand on the small of his back now anybody anybody knows that when you hold someone's hand or when you have their hand on the small of the back that is more that is more a case of um this is my partner this is the person that i love everybody knows what body language is but to say that it's coercive control like you don't even know the definition of coercive control you literally don't now woman's aid um <clears throat> now woman's aid.org.uk has a brilliant has a brilliant definition of coercive control now i'm going to read it here because you know clearly peter lloyd needs to know the definition because he don't know what it is so they say domestic abuse isn't always physical coercive control is an act or a pattern of acts of assault threats humiliation and intimidation or other abuse that is used to harm punish or frighten their victim this controlling behavior is designed to make a person dependent by isolating them from support exploiting them depriving them of independence and regulating their everyday behavior now do you see megan doing that do you see her doing that like come on let's be realistic if any if anybody is um doing coercive control it's the it's the queen and her and her robotic husband you know ai artificial intelligence that's what that is but anyway i would like to round this video up here um, because I've got two more videos to do for you but I just wanted to really get all that shit off my chest because Piers like it's enough literally it's enough stop stop your nonsense okay stop your nonsense because you're acting as if like you're out on a date and she told you no okay you're too grown for the foolishness you're too grown you're a 55 year old man stop acting like it please stop acting like it don't acting like a rascal so fool please I beg I beg to stop it and to the royal family like leave that woman alone i don't blame her for wanting to break free i mean listen this woman had a miscarriage last year yeah she had a miscarriage because of all the stress of all the racism and all the shit she's having to be dealing with and now she's pregnant again and the stress could cause her to have another miscarriage and i know the media will probably blame her for it and try and hide their hands as if they didn't do anything like you like literally hound this woman every single day like Piers Morgan should be ashamed of himself because like someone created someone created like um a photo grid whatever um of all the newspaper articles this man writes about her like literally every single day he writes a new article about her I mean I know he's not getting I know he's not getting paid to be writing that many articles about her when there's so many things that he could be writing articles about but every single day he wants to be writing about mega mark or like you see what i'm saying this man is obsessed that is not normal i know that the media are paid to do to write articles about celebrities and, and public figures but you're doing too much you're doing too fucking much okay the royal family can go to hell and please you need to go to hell right along with them and for all those black people on twitter who follow peers and morgan you should be ashamed of yourself because you're enabling these cross behavior all right i gone.